I wanted to give you guys a mini life update because I am moving again. In the past five years, I don't think I've lived at a single location for more than a year, which was never the plan, but life just changes so fast. So I kind of wanted to explain why I'm moving, when I'm moving, and just give you an update because it's obviously gonna affect the vlogs uh, because I pretty much put my whole life on the internet. So I really wanna drink my tea, but it's too hot. I'm actually going to be moving back into the condo that I own. I bought this condo about five years ago. I purchased it with the intent on me living there on my own, but then I got into a relationship and we ended up living there for about six months. The only reason we moved is because he wanted to move back downtown. If it had been up to me, I would have stayed. So that's the only reason why I left in the first place. I've lived in Vancouver ever since. Uh, just like different areas of Vancouver. I've thought about moving back quite a few times and I've been thinking about this for a few months now. It was kind of a hard decision to make for a few reasons, but the more I thought about it, the more it just made sense. The two reasons why I almost didn't move back is one, I have a tenant in there currently and I felt bad about kicking her out, but eventually she would have moved out or I would have sold the property or done something with it. So it was kind of just inevitable that at some point this was gonna happen. Either way, I still felt bad and I've already told her and it's all sorted. But the second thing that kind of held me back was a part of me wondered if I was going backwards in life because I'm essentially moving back to my hometown where I grew up and I'm moving back into a place that I've already lived. I don't know why I got it in my head that it was like going backwards. I think it's like a societal thing. I got over that and then I decided to move back. Yeah, the more I thought about it, the more it just made sense. There's a lot of reasons why I've decided to make this move. Travel has started to pick back up and I have a lot of trips planned for this year and I just don't wanna be paying thousands of dollars for rent in the city when I'm not even gonna be in this apartment. It just didn't feel like a good financial decision to keep this place. I know some people will short-term rent out their place uh, while they travel, but Personally, I don't like the idea of someone being in my space using my furniture just like kind of weirds me out So that was not something I was interested in doing. Um, I think that is a great option if you're okay with it I have uh, a few friends that do that all the time, but yeah, just personally for me That wasn't something I wanted to do the condo that I own the mortgage payments are less than half of what my rent is here. I also, I just don't feel as bad about leaving it because at least my payments are going into my mortgage loan. It's not just a rental payment that I'm paying to someone that I'm not even like using the space, you know? So yeah, also, as much as I love Vancouver, I really don't need to be in the city. Vancouver is quite a slow city, especially with COVID, but honestly, like even before, there's not a lot going on in the city and I work from home there's nothing here that I need to be close to, plus I have a car. My condo's like an hour out from the city. If I need to come back downtown, I can. It's also more expensive to have a car in the city as well. If I felt like my quality of life was way better here, I would keep it. Essentially, I'd be doing the exact same thing in the suburbs that I'm doing in the city, but I'm paying double to just be here. It just doesn't really make sense. And I feel like in these past five years, I've really got the downtown experience. I'm not saying that I'll never move back to the city, maybe I will. I also don't even know if Vancouver is where I wanna be for forever. I always thought that it was, but there's certain places that I feel more connected to or I just feel a lot more motivated, inspired. Vancouver, I don't really know how to explain it. Actually, I had a lot of people asking about the astro cartography that I was talking about. I'll actually get more into that later because people were asking about that. But if you're into astrology, according to my birth chart, Vancouver is really not a good place for me at all. The way that they described it, like it feels so accurate to how I feel here. I don't want to feel tied down here and I want to be able to just move around and figure out where I want to be. Timeline wise, my original plan was to move out when my one year lease is up, which would be in May, but I wanted to give my tenant a lot of notice because I know that moving can be stressful and it sucks when you have to move based on someone else's decision. I told her like three, four months in advance and she decided to start looking for places immediately. So she found a new place for March 1st. I need to find someone to take over my apartment or I'm gonna be paying for two apartments, which really sucks. So someone's actually already applied for my unit. I just don't know if it's gone through yet. And then I have a couple more people coming to look at it today. So I'm hoping that after today, I don't have to do any more showings. It just sucks because I'm kind of like the middleman since I'm breaking my lease. 
I'm just trying to help my building find someone, but I don't have anything to do with the approval process. So I don't know like how that application is going. Fingers crossed somebody will take over this place for March 1st. I should be moving in a month. I don't think it's fully sunk in like I have a lot to do and I'm also not even gonna be here for a chunk of this month I'm really excited I feel like by moving back I'm freeing up more time and money to put into other things so that is what's up I need to clean my apartment now because some people are gonna come through like is my tea drinkable now so yeah, it's 11. People are coming in like an hour or two hours. And yeah, I think I'll just continue vlogging for the day. It's Sunday. We'll do a little Sunday vlog. I'll let you know how the showings go. Hopefully this all works out. I'll keep you posted. Okay, first showing is done. I have one other person coming later today in like an hour. I just ate this container of pomegranate seeds and I'm making more tea. The couple that just looked at it the guy works from home and he wants to have a home office, so I don't know if this is gonna be big enough. Honestly, I'm hoping that the first girl that applied will get it because she also wants to take some of my furniture, which works out well for me. Um, there's a few other people that wanna come look at it, but I don't wanna have to do more showings if someone that's looked at it. Tika. A lot of you guys were asking about the astro cartography, so I wanted to go into that a little bit now. But this is where you do it. You wanna go to astro.com. And then it's kind of confusing. So on the side, click these three lines, do free horoscopes, location, astrology, astro click travel. You need to know uh, the time of your birth and then you just put in all of your information and then you'll get this. It's kind of confusing. Also, if you missed my last vlog, basically this shows you, it's based off where the planets were when you're born. And again, I know this is not for everyone, but I find it so interesting. And you can zoom in and check out different cities and it'll tell you the energies in that place. You can just click anywhere on the map and then on the side, it'll tell you about different places. So, but if I click Vancouver, it'll tell me about Vancouver here. Um, so yeah, it's not a great spot for me, according to astrology. I've been wanting to spend some time in Hawaii. As I've said, my pink line goes straight through Hawaii. Not a lot happening in Canada, to be honest. So apparently I need to travel the world. The second showing canceled last minute, which means I am now free for the day. I'm hoping that by tomorrow, I will know about the first application because if it doesn't go through, I need to set up more showings. So I'm on my way to Whole Foods. Where else would I be going? I just need to pick up a few things. Then we're probably just gonna have a chill day for the rest of the day. I've been really into Netflix lately. I think I need to get a Crave account because I really want to watch Yellow Jackets and Euphoria. And in Canada, I think that's the only way you can get it. But I've just been on a Netflix train. I'm watching Yellowstone right now. I feel like it's like slow to get into, I don't know. Everyone's hyping it up, so I feel like I need to give it a chance. But yeah, the weather in Vancouver has just been so gloomy, so I like having like cozy nights in watching TV shows when it's raining. I just got out of Whole Foods. This was 100% a TikTok purchase. I don't even know if this is the right one. I'm gonna see if this helps my scalp at all. And then I started picking these up recently. They're so good. Midday squares. Last time I was here, they were sold out, so I just got two. But I really like the almond ones. I haven't tried the other ones, but I feel like this one would be my favorite. I'm not gonna do a grocery haul because I feel like I film them all the time. And I don't wanna be too repetitive and annoying, but I got the smoked mozzarella pasta salad. I'm gonna try this out. I haven't had lunch, it's like almost three, but I don't wanna eat a big meal now because I'm gonna have dinner. They were out of stock of so many products and I think there's been supply shortages because of like COVID and everything. So I haven't been able to get a bunch of the stuff that I normally get. There was no coffee creamer. My yogurt has been out of stock for so long. The milks that I normally get were out of stock. So I got this almond, it's a barista edition. So there's a couple extra ingredients because normally this Elmhurst brand only has like two or three. It's usually just like nuts and water, sometimes salt, I think. But this one has water, almonds, rice, and then it says contains 2% or less of cane sugar, salt, and I don't know what dipotassium phosphate is, but anyways, I really like this brand because they're very clean. Like they don't add a lot of additives to their milk, which honestly, it's hard to find non-dairy milks that don't have random crap in it. 
This thing was like nine dollars. What a joke. I don't even know what's in here. There's like oh weird. Wow, this is potent smelling. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about this. It's extremely creamy. And there's like spinach in it. Which is like kind of soggy. It's spicy. <sighs> I'm still gonna eat this, but I wouldn't buy it again. That's my verdict. Have I had this before actually? Oh my God, I don't even know. Kind of going back to the living situation conversation. It's funny because if you had asked me even six months ago, my mind has changed so much. Like I was seriously considering buying another property. I was thinking about buying a property that I was gonna like live in for a decent amount of time. But now I'm so glad I didn't, although I guess I could have sold it, but I just, I'm so not interested in like settling down yet. Anyway, it's just a random thought. I just poured myself a glass of red wine and I'm gonna have a bath. Why is it called draw a bath, by the way? I'm drawing a bath and we need candles. Gotta get the vibes right. pasta salad that I got I need to drink water and you guys are on the water I think I was in the bath for over an hour I did a guided meditation and I scrolled through TikTok I can see people's windows moving like the glass on that building the windows are like shaking or bending that's kind of sketchy I'm not making dinner tonight I'm eating the rest of that pasta and I'm gonna watch Yellowstone that's the plan. Oh my gosh. Teeks. She never used to get this close when I eat food. Like, look at this, Tika. <laughs> not for you. She knows she's not supposed to do that, but she is obsessed with food. <laughs> I just think it's kind of cute and funny, but it's not for you. I'm sorry. Anyways, this is the situation. I don't know what's happening here. We are on episode eight. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hate talking and eating at the same time. This was pretty much just a life update, but next upload will be Monday. So I will see you then. Peace out.